hi everyone in this video we can continuously we can see how the rpa solution document high level overview and how the solution document all of the details like ecp discover recovery mode or it's uh, how the business continuity will run or how the bot will perform through credentials so these kind of details we can see we can continuously see in solution design document in previous video we can we, we were discussed a lot of details continuous this video how the high level business process will work for rpa when we talk about rpa rpa is completely different and completely out of world from other technologies so here we can see how the booking process in rpa will be designed through std here it is high level process overview of existing travel booking system how they are existing doing through website or some other things so this process has to be automated through rpa in that case how the high level process in the asis process has to be worked see first thing is previously they sign in and sign up their website so they are booking for the flights they are booking train or bus or booking through agent once booking completed they are updating the request once request has been updated booking id generation and continuously it will be email and sms update will send this is the high level process before the automation so how the overview will be what are the supporting documents will be available in this overview see here you can see ticket master how so here each and every step it will define it will describe how ticket master will work out so because it means the plan the trip book the trip and on trip or expenses how the complete report will look out so everything it would be the part of ticket master so after that how it will be see some what is the scope in std they they has to mention what is the scope what is the out of scope here the scope is book the bus or train or flight out of scope book the hotel some agents will book the hotels but here in this std out of scope is book the hotel or book the user related some dependencies so these are our car rental kind of things are out of scope so std has to be defined what is scope and what is out of scope and here you can see how the credentials or admins has to be managed see here how the bot has to be performed here the log into the system forget password see if it is forget password 
how the system will go through in RPA. That section has to be defined in TDD. But here simply they mention forget password. And sometimes system retry. So here you can see log when log into the system, sometimes it will not log in. First attempt it will fail. Then bot has to check with second attempt. If second attempt has well failed, the bot has to generate or bot has to send the exception details to the admin. See the thing is here in STD is high level, so it will not mention you have to take your credential through credential manager and credential agents through credential agent you have to work out for your URLs or high level confidential information like user, password like that. So you so the, these type of things has to be mentioned in TDD, detailed uh, technical design document. But in STD they have the high level overview only. How the login will be performed, what are the role of access. So based on the role of access it will, it will, it will open through different uh, modules or pages. So what are the roles and responsibilities are available, admin, role, user, permission. So these kind of information you can you can view and you can you can get the collection of information in STD. And how the corporate uh, travel will be happen. This is uh, see the, when we see the study that is uh, two part will be available. We will see that part in future. So how the scope will be worked out? How the uh, out of scope will be worked out? See when we talk about uh, planning, approving, booking, traveling, communicating, this point of uh, see th this whole, everything has to be separate module. So so first thing is uh, uh, one module planning, approving. So here the scope is only booking. So but but uh, the automation only booking automation is completely automation and um, fully automated. But uh, planning, approving and uh, communicating, traveling, these kind of things are partial or out of scope automation. So it will cover the entire details for travel journey. So see here you can see one more thing is how the target application will work out. See here, in, in, in future we will see some videos how the target. So in STD there has to mention what are the target applications available. Here the travel travel site is target application. So without target application RPA doesn't work. Maybe the Excel sheet or maybe the, maybe the website, maybe the uh, some other, uh, some other offline applications anyway. We need some target applications. So that target application has to be mentioned in STD. And what are the versions available in the target application? Suppose it is in, in it is in. Suppose you, when you check about uh, some travel sites, uh, what are the versions? So in the website, they they has to mention their version as well. And how the see, suppose you are going to do with the SQL database what is the version you are doing. Uh, Microsoft Excel what is the version you are doing. If it is web service how, what is the version you are doing. So that type of version information as well has to be mentioned in STD. For automation version information is very important because some of the bots or some of the process will not work uh, in different versions. Suppose if you are thinking Microsoft um, Windows. 2010 lot of bots will not work if it is 7 or 8 most of the bots will work based on the dependency because see in, in 9 in 10 uh, windows 10 or windows uh, uh, 10.2 like versions have lot of app related or application related things so it will uh, so bot has to be bot has to be worked in the same environment, but has to be developed in the same environment, 
bot has to be deployed in same environment otherwise bot will not work and uh, see if you, if you talk about credential management that is very big concept see the first thing of credential management is expiry how so in std the high level they have to mention how many days the credentials will be expired after the uh, suppose uh, bought uh, the torrent application has only 30 days uh, credential update so after that after 30 days what will happen the credential management or credential manager has to be continuously see bot has to run at least one year or two year three year the schedule will run so that time your credential has to be expired so the first thing is the bot has to reset and bot has to check the particular credentials are expiry or particular credential not working so that has to do that type of email notification has to be sent in the credential manage, manager admin or control room admin otherwise bot will not perform the complete things and one more thing is windows credential that is very important if sign if sign out and log, log off that kind of uh, situations windows credential has to be managed without the expiry so these kind of things has to be mentioned in high level std how many days password will expire how before that uh, what type of notification has to be sent and how to try um, login credentials uh, one time or two time sometimes a bot will not work based on the initial level suppose if you are thinking your credential is somewhat uh, uh, 10 characters or 12 characters sometimes based on the delay or some other issues your login has to be failed so that kind of validation that kind of um, uh, credential management that kind of things has to be clearly mentioned in std document and what are the environment dependency in next video we can see how the environment and uh, information security how the high level flow will work out so that kind of things in next video thanks everyone we will see some more details in our next video bye